Hi, this is Pam from the Birch Cottage blog. In this video tutorial, I'd like to show you how to use the new offset feature in Cricut Design Space. I do recommend that you follow along with this video tutorial. So you'll want to go ahead and open up Cricut Design Space on your laptop, your PC, or your Mac. It is important to note that the offset feature is supported on systems running Windows 10 and higher or Mac operating systems 10.15 and higher. You'll find instructions from Microsoft on how to upgrade Windows and on instructions from Apple on how to upgrade your Mac operating system on their respective websites. You will also want to make sure that your Canvas style is set to New in Cricut Design Space, as this feature will not appear when using the classic version of Cricut Design Space. With Cricut Design Space open, click on New Project. You can then insert an image or text into your design space. And then you'll want to go up to the menu, click on settings, and then go down to campus style. Make sure you have new selected as your canvas style. You can also change the canvas grid. Since it's not important for me to have objects lined up, I'm going to say no grid. And then I'm ready to insert my graphics, my artwork, my text, whatever I want for my design. All right, I have my text and my design all laid out the way that I want it. I'm going to select all the layers and then click on offset. I can change the size of the offset if I want, but I don't want to. In this case, I'm going to click on apply. And then I'm going to change the color of that offset layer. So make sure the offset layer is selected in your layer panel and then click on your little color square and select the color that you want for your background color for that offset layer. So you can play around with that and select whatever color you want. I have this selected. Now I don't really want to select all the layers. I just want to add another offset layer to my offset layer. So I'll select just that offset layer and again, click on offset, change the size of it and click on apply. And then I'll click on that offset layer that I just created and change the color of that. I think I'll make it a pretty blue. That looks good. And so then once I have that done, I select all the layers. Now check your layers panel, make sure all layers are selected, and then you're going to want to flatten your image because we flatten the image for print then cut. And when you have that resized and just the way you want it, you can click on make it. And then you have a preview of the image on the mat. You can specify how many copies you want. If I wanted a full sheet, I could say eight or 10 copies of this, depending on what size they were. And I'm click on continue. It's gonna prompt me to load my paper, my label stock in my printer so that it can do the print. And then it will prompt me to load it into my Cricut machine. And I will just follow those prompts and continue on with my design. It's important for you to remember that this offset feature in Cricut Design Space is only supported on systems running Windows 10 and higher, Mac operating systems 10.15 and higher. You'll find instructions on the Microsoft website and on the Apple website on how to upgrade your device. You will also want to make sure that your Canvas style is set to new in Cricut Design Space as this feature will not work or appear when you're using the classic version of Cricut Design Space. If you have questions about this tutorial, please leave them below in the comments. I would love it if you would like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.